Hey there everyone, it's Yaken here, back with another review video, yes, featuring this Sony InZone H3 gaming headset. I have been getting a lot of requests from the uh, unboxing and first impression video, so here it is, the review video on this InZone H3 gaming headset. Alright folks, so now let's start off things with the design over here, okay, there's something to love something to hit on this in zone h3 design okay so let's start off something what i really actually love okay the ergonomics design here is really really good okay especially the uh ear pad here it's comfy okay and then the head band cushioning here is very very good uh you don't feel any discomfort for long period of usage okay and the uh, adjustment here is quite wide also as well so if you are someone like me big headed yeah you, the adjustment here does help a lot for long period of usage okay and uh, yeah the second thing yeah definitely it suits a uh, playstation feel on the gaming headset right yeah this wired gaming headset is phenomenal okay and it is quite good for those who just want a simple minimalistic gaming headset right now okay all right so you don't really get too many things out of here and at the back here you just get the volume control and the uh boom mic over here okay yep so what do i actually uh hate about this uh design over here firstly sony this is in zone okay this you should have been uh, putting a lot of in-zone logos on the uh, product not putting slapping all the sony logos onto it okay and then secondly okay the colors here yes you want to exude the uh, playstation feel of it however why can't you just offer something like in your in-zone logo the purple color okay I think it will be uh, much more better because if you are trying to be uh, setting a little bit much more different from the PlayStation branding, I think having other colors would be much more better. And then the second one, uh, definitely the mic here. Okay. Yeah, I thought it could be uh, like doing a 360 rotatable thingy. Unfortunately, no, it doesn't work that way over here. Okay, there's only limited angles. You can push it up or push it down and then maybe just push a little bit forward to your mouth. Alright, yeah. So overall here, the design, yeah, there's definitely some uh, hit and misses. But uh, overall, if you can look through over to it, yeah, it's going to suit you most likely. Now, before we are going over to the audio performance, I do highly need to note to ga PC gamers that you actually need to use the USB audio hub here, okay, and connect to your PC, okay, so in order for you to use the InZone hub app. Alright guys, so now let's head over to the audio performance over here on this InZone H3. So uh, for the first time when you set up, uh, you definitely have to use the InZone hub software over here, okay, you need to do some uh, adjustment to suit your hearing uh, needs okay uh more on that later on but out of the box the uh h3 here okay yeah they actually sound quite good i'll just give it a slightly better than the average uh gaming headset is that is available for its price range okay but if you say it is sounding great nah i I don't agree with that. There are much more uh, other gaming headsets that sounds even much more better. Okay. But with the InZone hub here, you definitely can change uh, the audio performance to suit your needs. Okay. So definitely out of the box, you have uh, four types of equalizers here. So uh, you got the uh, flat sound here, which is the standard sound over here. Uh, there's also bass boost 
So basically, bass boost, uh, it will amp up the background sound a little bit more. Uh, not to my liking. My liking is definitely music and video over here. Okay, so with this, you definitely sound, uh, you can hear the sound a little bit much more better. Okay, usually I set this over here or the flat. Last but not least, custom. So if you know how to set your equalizer, yeah, go ahead. Suit yourself. Do the uh, manual customization. Okay, and then for the spatial sound over here, you have to log into your Sony account. Okay, and then you need to download another app to uh, scan your ear. Okay, and then you can start using the spatial sound here. Yes, so basically, does the 360 spatial sound for gaming work on this in zone H3? I would definitely say yes, it does work, it does help, but does it deliver a really, really amazing audio experience? I would say a little bit lacking because once you turn on the 360 spatial sound surround, yeah, uh, there are like certain game whereby if you are hearing the gunshot, you, if you turn it off, turn off the spatial sound, okay, the sound it will be bang, bang, bang. But once you turn on the spatial sound, it will be much more spread wider. Yeah, so making the sound is a bit much more uh, wider as it is, okay? But the one good thing turning on the spatial sound over here is the uh, first-person shooter games. Uh, games that require you to uh, hear the enemy footsteps. Yeah, then you should buy this gaming headset. All right, it does really really work. Okay, numerous time when I'm uh, playing like uh, Left 4 Dead to uh, Fortnite on my PC. Yes, I definitely able to hear the where is the sound direction coming from, and it's really really working over here. Yes, and also you have like dynamic range control on here as well. Uh, usually I will just set it to low. And uh, yeah, it's going to perform really, really good. And as for the microphone over here, uh, I usually don't really use the microphone too much, okay? Uh, but I did try it out uh, on Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, yeah, the opponents can hear it very clearly and they have never complained about uh, background noise. Alright folks, so it's time to wrap things up on this in-zone history review with my final verdict. Okay, so in Malaysia, this in-zone history is actually priced at 439 ringgit Malaysia. And uh, it's available right now to be purchased. So, what is my recommendation? Outright buy it, shortlist it, or don't even care about it. For me, I would definitely uh, recommend you guys to shortlist it, okay? Uh, definitely the audio might be a little bit in the average sounding area okay but the 360 spatial surround sound does help gamers okay it provides the information to you especially like uh, foot, uh, enemy footsteps uh, where are they coming from uh, it's really really vital and uh, although the design might be needing a little bit more uh, work on it but I think if you really don't mind it, I think you are actually going to be satisfied if you really purchase one today. That's all for the review, okay? And uh, if you're uh, loving this uh, content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, we are trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers right now. And also, one more thing, please go and like the video, share it out if you think it's really, really good. And... Uh, Special shout out thanks to uh, Sony Malaysia for providing this uh, sample review unit. Okay, uh, however, this is not a paid content, therefore, there's no editorial input, no final approval is needed. Everything, whatever I'm saying, is based on two weeks of uh, experiencing it. Okay, and there are also software updates as well that might differ the uh, experience of the uh, in zone H3 gaming headset in the future. So take note on that and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright guys, stay safe and game on.